So alleged specification of NVIDIA's next generation GeForce RTX 3090 and RTX 3080 as well as the new Titan RTX with Ampere Gaming GPUs have been detailed, supposedly, allegedly. You know, that's how this goes right now. So the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series will be featuring brand new graphics architecture and other key driving features for faster gaming performance in next generation AAA titles. There are several rumors going around for the RTX 30 series since the coolers leaked out last month, but almost everywhere we're having the same thing consistent which is the GeForce RTX 3080 and GeForce RTX 3090 will be the first cards featuring the Ampere Gaming GPUs. Now latest version of specifications come from Cat Corgi and Copitech video cards who have not only shared the same specifications in the current month but Copi we're gonna go with Copi I can't I don't know how to pronounce the rest of that was accurate with his previous leaks for the A100 GPU. Based on that, let's see what the latest details from the two leakers have to share with us. But most importantly, since all of this is unconfirmed at the moment, it will be wise to treat this definitely as a rumor with a whole bucket of salt until we receive more information from NVIDIA themselves. So the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is an interesting graphics card based on its naming scheme. We already talked about the nomenclature of this card in previous videos and mentioned why NVIDIA would be considering this particular naming scheme that was previously reserved for dual chip graphics cards. It's highly likely that the RTX 3090 could be an internal code name for the RTX 3080 Ti, but if we dive into much into those details, we'll definitely be moving away from today's topic. So let's call it the GeForce RTX 3090 for now. And according to the details, the GeForce RTX 3090 will feature the GA102-300-A1 GPU. This is one of three SKUs that we'll be talking about in this particular video. So the GA102-300-A1 GPU is said to be comprised of 5,248 CUDA cores or 82 SMs in total. So that's 20% increase over the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. No details such as clock speeds, TMU ROP count. We provided we can't take the Ampere A100 dies reference since the gaming and HPC parts share different configuration hierarchies. Moving on to the memory side, it was things start to look interesting as it stated that the card will get up to 12 gigabytes of memory with speeds up to 21 gigabits per second. Since that's a 384 bit bus, it will be able to offer up to one terabyte per second of bandwidth. Now this overclocked memory design is being referred to as GDDR6X and there's no such information available about any graphics card DRAM vendor unlike the previous GDDR6 RAM which is officially reported months before its integration into the Turing graphics cards. Now moving on to the GeForce RTX 3080, the rumor reports that the card will be featuring a GA102-200-KX A1 SKU. This cut down SKU will feature the same 4,352 CUDA cores as the RTX 2080 Ti that will be a in a slightly different with a total of 68 SMs. This card is reportedly featuring 10 gigabytes of memory that's also going to get GDDR6X running at 19 gigabits per second across a 320 bit bus with a bandwidth of 360 gigabytes per second. So the switch from GA102 to a TU104 on the 2080 is definitely an interesting one. A high-end SKU would also result in higher wattage and thermals, but we believe that this could be done to raise the bar up on the sub $500 segment, which could comprise of the GA104 based RTX 3070 and RTX 3060. If that's the case, we can expect a good performance jump in this segment, which we recently talked about in one of our articles over on the site. Finally, we have reports of the second generation Titan graphics card. The card is stated to be second generation Titan RT X card, but unlike the Titan X and the Titan XP before it, the new card would make use of the Ampere GA102-400-A1 GPU, and the GPU will be comprised of 84 SMs with a total of 5,376 CUDA cores. The card is said to feature 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X across a 384-bit bus, resulting in a memory bandwidth of 816 gigabytes per second, which is a while lower than the RTX 3090 due to the slower speed of the 17 gigabits per second will be compensated by enhanced memory compression architecture plus we'll be getting twice the memory buffer as the RTX 3090. So the GeForce RTX 30 series is expected to launch in the coming months with September being touted as a potential launch window. On the other hand, AMD is planning big Radeon reveal with its upcoming big Navi graphics card which are also expected around to be in the late Q3 2020 timeframe. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.